I'm Jonas Martin. You're watching Cinderblock Sessions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm Jonas Martin, and I'm a songwriter. The reason that I'm in music is to write songs more than anything else. I mean, I like playing live shows and everything, but yeah, writing and recording is my passion for sure. You know, my father was a huge music fan, so he got me into it, rock and roll specifically, at a very early age. And one day somebody asked me if I wanted to join their Beatles tribute band. And I love the Beatles, so I was like, sure, I'll learn how to play a keyboard and <laughs> do that. Um, so anyway, once I started to learn keyboard with the Beatles band, it just kind of became a natural thing for me to start trying it out on my own. And over many, many years, here I am doing better, trying to still learn how to do it and, you know, hopefully getting better. As far as inspiration goes, I mean, whatever I'm thinking about that day, 
I usually work in bulk. Uh, when I write songs, it's usually over a two or three month period and I write like 20 or 30 songs and then I don't write for a very long time. I'm very, you know, driven by politics and religion and cultural things, but I also do write about internal struggles. Um, so yeah, it's kind of hard for me to say that I have any specific way of writing a song. I mean, I just, I definitely listen to other songs. You know, I mean, that's, I'm sure any good writer, that's what they do. Uh, you listen to other songs, you try it out, you know? Try and make your version of a Bob Dylan song, or try and make your version of a D'Angelo song, or whoever, you know? Uh, first one is called Because Love. I guess it's meant to be kind of reassuring to anybody out there who's lonely and just the message of the song is you don't need to be alone, you don't need to be scared of this life because we're all in it together. Um, as long as I'm continuing to move forward and creatively feel like I'm doing something better than I did last, that's success to me. So I'm feeling pretty successful right now. Uh, whether anybody else thinks that or not, or cares. <laughs> um, but it, I, I feel like, you know, the stuff I've worked on this year is better than the stuff I worked on last year, and that was better than the stuff I worked on the year before. So, as long as I'm feeling good about my creative outlet, then that'll be success. And who knows, it may not always be music. Second song is, uh, it's called Design a Better Yesterday. And it's about, um, people's preoccupation with just kind of trying to record their lives uh, instead of really truly experiencing the moment, you know? I mean, we all know, especially since Instagram has come out, we all know those people that, you know, they go somewhere just to get the picture, you know, to say they were there. Uh, and it drives me nuts. I'm one of those people that it really drives me crazy when I'm at a concert and everybody's got their phone up and videoing it, you know? It's like just, you're here, we're here, we can watch a video, you know, uh, that this artist puts out. We're here in the same space with them, you know, like, let's just experience the moment with them. Hide in the lens of an old Polaroid Design a bit of yesterday Making a face as if so overjoyed Design a bit of yesterday Everything seems so on track When you're looking back Hands on the pin tacks and eye into the glass Design a bit of yesterday No need to live such a wonderful past Design a bit of yesterday Decrease the contrast and smooth out the grain Design a bit of yesterday Muddy the details go straight for champagne Design a bit of yesterday Guilt in the dark room and pride on the film Design a bit of yesterday